Today, we're going to be talking about not only how to collect phone numbers for your SMS marketing, which has exploded as a marketing channel. But in addition to that, we're going to cover something that is really important to me and probably to you, how to do it legally. Let's go ahead and dive into it. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so that you can get more videos like this in the future. So SMS campaigns are highly profitable, but they come with a lot of red tape. Let's learn some of the rules around this so we can be a little bit more educated. It's actually true that violating SMS regulations can cost you hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars. For example, if you send texts to 100 people without consent, you could be facing $5,000 in fines. And if the court rules that those numbers are stolen, it's actually $15,000 in fines. You need express consent. You cannot text message anybody without permission. You get this by having the customer knowingly opt into your text campaign. And that doesn't include somebody just giving you their phone number. It doesn't work like that. They have to opt in. It shouldn't be a surprise. They should know that they're on the list, right? Let's talk a little bit about easy opt out because that's pretty important as well. So all campaigns must let the people who receive the text opt out easily. They should be able to reply to the sender at any time, stop, and they're off the list. Now, it doesn't always need to be the word stop, but something like that, something that's inside of the text that says reply with this. Let's talk a little bit about time of day. So according to the Telephone Consumer Protection Act, you should only send texts between 8 a.m. and 9 p.m. Monday through Friday. So if you're texting people late and on the weekend, not good. Let's take a minute and talk a little bit about strategy, okay? So now that you know the rules around SMS marketing, how do you collect numbers in a legal and consumer friendly way? One thing you could do is host a contest legally. You want to promote a contest offering prizes to anyone who signs up for SMS, but don't forget to state what you'll do with their number, what they can win and how, and make sure that they've got opt-in consent as part of this. Now, another thing you can do is use a keyword campaign. A keyword campaign lets people sign up for SMS marketing by texting a number with a word. For example, text deals to 51251 to learn about deals before anyone else. So you really need a marketing tactic asking people to text a word to a specific number so that you can collect numbers so you can do text message marketing. Now, another thing you can do is offer incentives, free demos, discount codes, eBooks. Think about something of value that you can give to them. Maybe one of the easier things you can do is you can move email subscribers to SMS. And at Ignite Visibility, my agency, we always recommend that we align email and SMS marketing together. We kind of like to try to correlate those calendars. Now, you probably won't be sending as many SMS SMS messages as emails in most cases, but when you have the messaging similar, it's pretty good for the customer. It allows you to align your marketing calendar. You know, your email subscribers are already interested in your product or service, so that's why it makes it so great to get them into SMS. So send your subscribers an email asking them to sign up for SMS, but make sure to include an incentive, a full disclaimer, the amount of messages you're going to be sending per month for expectations, and then making sure that they understand opt-out instructions. Now, another thing you can do is you can just ask directly. You can verbally ask a customer to sign up for your SMS campaign. No matter how you approach SMS marketing, I recommend you do it. It is really working specifically for e-commerce as well as consultation follow-up, booking appointments. It is really the most open form of communication right now, and we're seeing fantastic results. If you need help with SMS marketing, let us know. Please leave me a comment. Leave me a question below. I always appreciate it. I love chatting with you online. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.